Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this preview of tomorrow's big game against Leeds United. Wolves on the back of a very poor run of form in there in comparison to the rest of the season, having only won three games out of the last ten, drawing four of those as well. So it Wolves are desperate to get back on track and I think a lot of us will be disappointed that the game wasn't on on Saturday because that was a perfect opportunity to get back on track. But we're facing a lead side who are very inconsistent this season. They showed great signs of promise at the beginning of the season but they've dropped off a lot recently. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about Leeds because I've got a good friend of mine, Liam, coming on to the channel to give you a bit of uh, more detailed look at Leeds before tomorrow's game. I think for Wolves, um, there's going to be changes from the team that played against Fulham. I think that the back three could change. I think Danny Bart is likely to start from what we've seen from pictures of their uh, training and stuff before the Reading game. If the same plan is there, we could see Danny Bart coming in, probably for Ryan Bennett, I'd imagine. Although Willy Bolly has been criticised by some areas of the fans and the press for his lackadaisical sort of attitude uh, during games. But personally, I think that he's such a good defender that he's just not trying as hard as he needs to or has to in the championship. Um, I also think that the front three is likely to change. Benikafobi, I imagine, will be given his starting chance, I think, tomorrow. Um, and then if it doesn't come off, you know, we move forward. Uh, I think Jota certainly will come in for Bonatini, who played poorly against Fulham. Um, <clears throat> and of course, Ruben Neves missing as well in the centre of midfield, who will keep us, or who has kept us ticking over throughout the season. He'll be a big miss tomorrow night, but thankfully he'll be back for the Villa game on Saturday, which of course is a massive, massive game. As for the business with the uh, George Mendes stuff going on at the moment, as Nuno said, I don't care. Personally, I don't think there's any more than we already know. I think Wolves have been quite clear and transparent with the way that they've dealt with George Mendes. He's a massive agent, and if he's got a you know a big black book of contacts like that, of course we're going to use it. It's just that because his company is owned partly by uh, Fosun, there is that slight grey area of uh, co conflict of interest, perhaps. But he hasn't got a role at the club. He's an agent that Wolves use, like they use many others. And it just so happens that he's got some very good players, so of course we're going to use those. I'll hand you over now to Liam, who's going to give you a preview of Leeds, and then I'll come back at the end of the video. You've shown some good elements in recent weeks, the fight back against Bristol in particular, but were poor again on Friday night against Borough. Can we expect a fight in performance from you Wednesday night? Uh, it all depends what team shows up, I think. Um, we've had some good fight backs recently. We had Millwall at home, we were 2-0 down at half-time, brought it back to 3-2. And unfortunately lost at the end. 2-0 uh, down against Bristol, fought back, should have won. We had Lasaga hit the bar right at the end of the game. Um, Derby, we're in a winning position, and we threw it away again. So it all depends what kind of team turns up. Uh, with it being Wolves turning up, it's going to be a completely different story, I think. Um, you're going to be stronger than us, so I think you're going to have a lot more of the ball than us. I was at Molyneux for your game, for your home game. And we couldn't really get near the ball. Uh, and again, it was silly errors that let us down. Now we got back ourselves back into the game, and then Ronaldo Vieira gets sent off, and that was the end of the game. So I'd like to think that we could put a bit decent performance on. I don't think there's much pressure on us anymore. We're not going to make the playoffs. Um, so hopefully we can make a bit of a game of it. But unfortunately, I think on the night you're going to be a bit too strong for us. What have been your weaknesses in recent weeks? Um, it would probably be easier to talk to you about the strengths because the weaknesses have just been, there's been far too many of them. Um, could probably start with the goalkeeper, shot stopping, just puts us under pressure, he's putting the ball back into the box. He's coming for balls that he just shouldn't be coming for. for. Janssen and Cooper just not confident with him behind him, with him behind them. Um, then our full backs, we haven't got solid full backs, we haven't had uh, solid starters, we've had Luke Ayling's out for the rest of the season, we're missing him, barardi has been out suspended, we missed him, uh, and then we've got Anita and Dubok, who unfortunately I don't think are, are good enough for the championship. Uh, Dubok started well, but again there's just been far too many errors. Moving into midfield, O'Kane and Calvin Phillips, I think they made one 
successful tackle in the whole of the game against Middlesbrough, which just isn't good enough for your centre midfielders. Um, then we've had, I suppose, the positive of the season. One of the positives of the season has been Lusaga up front. And only, in, only since Heckenbottom's come in have we been playing wingers out wide, getting the balls in. Dallas has been getting the balls in and Lusaga has been scoring goals. Uh, but until then, it's been difficult for him to get any kind of sniff on goal because of the, the service he's getting. We've been conceding far too many goals late on, far too many defensive errors. Um, we haven't got the fight that we did have at the start of the season. We don't seem to have the confidence we did have at the start of the season. I mean, it could go on for absolutely ages, but I'd rather not. Who should Wolves look out for on Wednesday night? Bloke across the road, good fish and chips there, worth a visit. Um, Dan Prestop. Um, seriously, on a serious note, on his day, Samu Saiz is one of the best players that we've had outside the Premier League. Um, Pablo Hernandez is probably one of the best players outside the Premier League. Um, Stuart Dallas is coming back into form. He's getting a regular run of games. Uh, and then obviously, Lusaga up front. He scored a few goals recently. Um, but again, going back to what I was saying earlier on, it just depends what team turns up. Uh, I mean, Newport, size has got his chance against Newport. He come on and he was sent off again 10 minutes later. Uh, we've had games where Ronaldo Vieira, Alioski, um, roof can go completely missing for 90 minutes so it depends who turns up hopefully we'll have a positive performance and size will put in a performance the saga will put in a performance uh and hernandez hopefully if he's if he's back from injury he's been training this week so i'd say those three size hernandez and the saga what do you make of the new manager will he last long and will he be given a chance uh Hopefully so. He's come in, he's saying the right things. Um, he seems to be a bit of a tough man. I can imagine some of his team talks being a bit a bit wild at half time after a few of our performances, um, which is a bit of a, a change from Thomas Christiansen. As much as we liked him, I think he was a bit of a bit of a nice guy, which the form we were in, the way the players were playing, we didn't really need. Um, hopefully he'll be given a bit of time. I think we're never going to be successful. We're never going to go up if we keep on going through through managers of, like we have been. Um, it's important that Victor Orta and Rads give him money to spend. Let him play it, spend his own money. Let him buy his own players. Uh, unfortunately, we've had a few awful players coming in who just seem to go back out on loan to Spanish Sunday League teams signed by Orta so hopefully if he's given his own money if he's given a chance to to buy his own players if he carries on saying the right things if he carries on uh being brutal with the players which I think he has been it's been a bit of a shock to a few of the players with him coming in I think of a few things that he said um hopefully we can get a few few good results towards the end of the season between now and the end of the season and then give him a full season at the end of the season uh, next season then um, and I think Lee Johnson at Bristol is a perfect example of that. I think last season they weren't great, and look at them now. So hopefully we'll be given a lot of time. And finally, would you like to make a prediction for tonight's game? No, uh, predictions are rubbish. They're stupid. Thank you very much to Liam for contributing to the channel, and I'll see you all after the game tomorrow. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a safe journey up to Leeds if you're going. Bye-bye.